Hello, you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Today's coordinator report is from Fred Pagan, who says, Thanks to everyone who came in today. The cats definitely appreciated it. Feeding was done by Bonnie, Trevor, Gina, Jordan, Susan, and Stephanie. All the cats ate very well today. After feeding, Steph began working on organizing the free users while the rest of the volunteers began cleaning. Cleaning was done thanks to Jordan, Gina, Gina, Trevor, Carrie Ann, Sue, Bonnie, and Mary Lou. Gina then got an operant conditioning sign off by Sue while Jordan and Trevor began food prep before lunch. After lunch, Sue took care of snacks and supplements for the cats while Bonnie and Trevor finished food prep. Meanwhile, Steph and Jordan started work on cleaning Manny the Jaguar's enclosure and removing old hay from the enclosures. Devin then came in to do afternoon meds. Thanks again to everyone coming in today. Have a great weekend. And I spoke with operations manager Afton Tassler this morning, and she told me that they had rearranged the freezers, as you saw there, so that we can really stock them full of food. I'm so concerned about all of these meat packing plants and COVID-19. And so we wanna make sure that we have as much food stored early on because I fear that this virus is just going to get worse and there's going to be more people breathing on the food and handling it and I'm already nervous as I'll get out about it but I, I just I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better so we are we've actually she already ordered all of the food that we need to carry us for at least six months she thinks and maybe even eight months and then um we feed whole prey, whole rats and whole rabbits that arrive frozen, and those are local. And that guy says there's no problem in us continuing to get the supply from him. So I hope he's right and that our cats can still get the kind of nutrition that they need from those kinds of prey items. They actually need to eat the whole animal. Um, some of the cats actually eat the fur right off of the animal, too. So <laughs> this per... Um, perfection ocelot <laughs> today on the observation chart it was like there was some gray and white fur in there i don't know what that was it was probably a possum she has a thing for possums and man she's like the possum whisperer they all come to her and she manages to get them close enough that she can snag them what else has been going on uh lots of projects oh my gosh it's saturday and we used to have all of these people in our volunteer program who were in the admin side. We called them partners. So they did things like guided tours and took care of the gift shop. And now we don't have tours. We don't have people in the gift shop. And so it's like, what are all these people going to do? So they've been coming out and actually doing projects. And the projects include all kinds of things. Like we tore down a barricade so that we could run a power line. And then we had to put up the barricade. And we've been putting, somebody got us a whole bunch of plants, either free or like for super cheap and so they've been putting those plants in the ground all over the place and then watering all of those plants all over the place. And it's just beautiful out there. It's absolutely beautiful. I know they were working on Manny the Jaguar's enclosure after sadly losing both um, Armani Leopard and Natalia Leopard in the last few days. They had, I don't even know how many thousands of square feet of cages over there because they had a whole bunch of cages each. And so we're joining those with tunnels. Some of them are already joined, but we're joining the rest of them with tunnels so that Manny can have all of that space. But the thing about Manny is he's so dangerous that we want to make sure there's no place anybody could accidentally trip and fall next to the cage. Would have been bad enough next to a leopard, but next to Manny, that could just be terrible. So they've been making sure the ground is really super smooth and that nobody can get hurt while taking care of that wicked little character. You can see all of our updates and videos and photos and listen to my phone ring off the hook from the haters from Tiger King at bigcatrescue.org.